get one of us to get with one of them. You got to tell us we can't do it. You got to make us rebel against the order of the day. They had no beauty standard, but they can only develop one once they get their drop of blood because their genetics doesn't allow for it. This is why they wore the corset dresses with the with the fox fanny. Yeah, nature knows no color line. He's telling you that when they came over here, we wouldn't mix with them. We wouldn't touch them motherfuckers. Right? So when you force the people until you get to the mulatto stage and the octoroon stage, you can turn them loose on either side of the fence and they'll mix for you to get the drop of blood throughout the spectrum. This is what he was reading when he was showing you that we ain't like them motherfuckers and they ain't like us. But they have to get their drop of blood some kind of way. And they, and they unleashed the reign of terror to get it. And they was brought over here to keep us from ever getting into the institutions to get to the information. Right. So this is what he was what he's telling you in the story that he was reading is my man is describing how we perceive them, how they perceived us and trying to figure out how to make us to perceive each other differently from two different sides of the world. Right. The snowman meet the sun man. God damn. Ice man inheritance. They got to go through a catharsis to get that evil shit out their blood that was put into them in the laboratory. The catharsis looked like racism. It looks like sexism. It looks like oppression. Until they get fed up with the shit their parents did. That one drop of blood take hold in their psyche. They ain't gonna like that shit. So now you're gonna see pale faces. What what over Drew Ali say I'm gonna make the pale face tell you the truth? How are he gonna do that? He gonna talk to that one drop of blood. And that one drop of blood, I don't care what vessel it's in, it's gonna respond to the chief. This is what the whole crucible of God, great melting pot story that they're telling us the whole time, they're telling us what they're doing. And we not paying it no attention because it sounds like a slick slogan from the government. It's not. This is why eugenics was created to make it look like they wanted to genocide us to force us to accept some people we wouldn't accept. It's, it's reverse psychology used at its maximum potential in a sociological instead of an individual capacity. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit no more. Now I'm trying to get but I want my big mama back. Fuck the bullshit. Because when big mama come home and all of her daughters get their shit back, we good. We could figure out everything else by, at that point. So when is that supposed to happen? Now in real time. Yeah. It's going down real time right now. The process is processing. Understand big mama. I, I, this part of me, this is, I mean, I'm trying to. You might not be one of us. Or so it takes to be one of us. <laughs> He's a he. Order to recognize big mama. He, he now, might not be. Why, why wouldn't you understand Big Mama, but you understand Big Papa? He's a Hebrew mm -hmm. Israelite. I mean, Listen, uh, there I you go. That's the doctrine. Trying, okay. The return of Big Mama. The restoring the matriarchal structure that the tribes operated on before the rogue patriarchs brought their Bible bullshit over here. Mm -hmm. Paleolithic time. It's just as simple as that. We say Big Mama because every clan called their tribal mother Big Mama. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Madea, Nana. Right? It just depends on who she was, but the tribal mother, we called them Big Mama. God. He, 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 he directly described the nature of lions. But what's the nature of the gorilla? Hmm. Same thing. A female no, not the same thing. When a when a male gorilla take over, he don't kill none of the babies. Mm. Well, I he know father them all. What? The reason why I pointed out the difference in the nature of the lion and the gorilla is the evolution of the masculine in the species. 
the evol uh, the evolved masculine understand that the nature of the feminine she may have children when he meet her and the evolved man is going to nurture and father them children like they his own but the unevolved man is going to have an attitude with the children and become easily frustrated with them because they not his own it's a difference it's a different it's levels to this shit I understand, but we talking about gorillas or men? Because you're saying the uninvolved. Man. The same reason, the same way you matched up the lions. I'm just showing you that the difference in the two species, the human species, is above all that shit. But we don't want to accept that reality yet. We ain't culturally mature enough. Again, we have to remature back into the evolved beings we were when we nurtured everything on the planet including the lion and the gorilla earlier one of the sisters mentioned their uncle had always surrounded herself with a group of women i was just getting ready to say that there's something else that happens when you surround yourself with a group mm -hmm. of women you live longer mm -hmm. most loyal people most loyal soldiers look we ain't even Never got to that part i'm talking fact. about the energetic difference that's a fact right the mitochondrial support from multiple women allows the man to heal from some shit that he wouldn't heal from without her a group of women a group of balanced women are tesla coils of healing mitochondrial resonance this is metaphysical science and the tribes was based on metaphysics we move on the earth like the stars move in the sky see i, I Wait, Apostle, let him finish. Yeah. The it's Hebrews all energy. You. It's all energy and energy management, resource management. As the gods, we ain't supposed to be walking around here trying to pretend to be animals. We're supposed to do God shit. So I'm not finna go pissing on every tree I walk past like a dog just because I'm a man. But a dog going to piss on every tree he go past to make sure a person notices his territory. The most I'm going to do is stake a totem pole. Yeah, eventually he right? If we going to be gods, we going to have to do some god shit. If we going to be mortals, we going to have to do some mortal shit. But the first thing we got to do is figure out the difference in the goddamn two. You can't call yourself a god. You don't do no god shit. You're just a mortal who aspire to godhood. But you have the potential to become the God as soon as you realize what it takes to ascend to that level. Everybody ain't on the same level. Every, that's why information goes through trickle down. I might be able to tell one person something and I could tell an entirely different person the same thing and they both, one of them understand it, the other one don't. The one that don't can go talk to the other person I talked to, get the explanation, and it makes perfect sense to him. But it didn't make sense when I told it to him. But I told it to the person that explained it to him. So now you see that the information has to go through a trickle down effect. We playing plinko with the knowledge. We just trying to get back to the balance of the nature and the human family by restoring the matriarch because that's the natural structure of the human family not because the women is better or not better than the man put the power where the power go the machine run the way it's supposed to run and we got heaven on earth but if you keep the power where it don't belong you can always have misery and suffering as a result of people inappropriately applying power to the wrong places at the wrong time creating the wrong result it's basic mathematics I well, we all melanated. Thinks, I know that much. I think Comedian thinks there's a difference. I don't think so. Yeah, well, we look the George Washington challenge is a challenge between chiefs and 32 degree Scottish Rite Freemasons from England, right. Spanish okay. and French. This is what the George Washington challenge is about. What side of the ocean you originate from? That part. That's the George Washington challenge. I didn't make that shit up. I just pulled it out the history books to show it to y'all. Right. It's
it's a it's the war between the two nappy head motherfuckers. The good had to suffer with the bad. And the pale face was the referee while he got his drop of blood in his reign of terror. We not the same people. Mm. Half the motherfuckers ain't got no soul. And you know the ones that ain't got no soul because they stuck on the same foolishness. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of righteous moors over here. They are under Angel Bay. If they ain't under Angel Bay, then they're going to find out soon enough where the tribes stand with the dirty moors because they got all their names on the ledgers in the Moorish consulate uh, other, and the list of the dirt they did. That ain't my house to clean up. I'm just here to tell the people the story and where to find the information at. Right. Right. So if you don't know what the George Washington challenge is, you still bark in nationality. You only have cocked. No, Drew Ali didn't say get a rudimentary um, Moorish education. He said get a good Moorish education. That means trace the motherfuckers back to their source. When they came out the Middle East from the Sinai uh, Mountains under the Baptib uh, Babylonian captivity with their blood magic, sex magic, and money magic, moved across the uh, northern portions of Africa, across the Iberian Peninsula, and moved into Italy and called themselves Etruscans. Then they changed their name again. They keep changing their name because they don't think we know how to track their dumb ass. Right. They tell us the stories. Half of them went up into settle in West Turkey and formed the Ottoman Empire, what they call the Byzantine Kings. Right? So we know the difference in the people. It's right. just that the ones that's the dirty moors don't never want us to resolve the matter definitively. We ain't no goddamn moors. Sound like the horrors to me. More is a catch term to encapsulate two separate groups of people under the same uh, phenotypical identity for the purposes of a conjure war. I like that. I like that. That's what it's all about. Feathers versus fences. I never heard it like that before. I like that. Right. It's, in, it's, it's all in the imagery, in the iconography. They got the pictures of the Moors over in Europe eating the babies. They telling us the whole time why they kicking them out of Europe. You think they weren't going to eat babies when they got here? Oh, they just stopped eating babies when they got here and started trying to pretend to be us and carry themselves like we do. They can't, they don't have the discipline and the internal fortitude to be able to assimilate all of the monotheistic religion that they brought over here with them. They can't even follow that shit. And we became more Christians than the Christians, more Muslim than the Muslims. And we were none of that shit before 1492. And now niggas want to stand up and argue that we some goddamn shit that wasn't over here before Columbus came and fight you to the goddamn death. Because you know who you is and it don't agree with the narrative that the settlers and the colonizers is forcing down our goddamn throat, telling us we came from somewhere else. And how we'll the fuck no all our ancestors know how to navigate the land if they ain't from here? Mm. Interesting. The fight for reparations is a distraction from all of the melanated people, no matter where they at. Stop, they stop, 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 stop. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stay where we at. You're telling me that the fight for reparations can only be claimed by descendants of slaves. Is that correct? Yes or no? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying that the reparation, hold on, listen, that. listen. The reparations program that's been rolled out to us is for the descendants of slaves. Okay. They not have not rolled out a reparations for us to recover the land. So that stop, didn't stop. roll out from there. Stay them. with me. Hold on, stay with me. Let's keep it, in keep it in buckets. Keep it in buckets. Keep it in buckets. The fight for reparations is only for people who say that they're descendants for slaves. Yes or no? Yeah, that's what the right, fight cool, for cool, reparations cool, cool. that yeah, we right, that right, we right, following right. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's the best question of the day, right? Because this is the reason why the American Indian is not the Aboriginals to the land. The American Indian is paper genocide and the Aboriginals to the land. The American Indian can be anybody that was rolled in under the Dawes Act. That don't got nothing to do with us. Our way is we cannot defeat them using their system. Our ancestors left us a system of redemption that I've been following for five years and it's been working. 
we don't see all of the benefits yet because we coming out of a hazy period of trying to understand what's going on. The only way we can get our shit back is to go back to the great law and that overrides the admiralty jurisdiction that's overlapping the land. All of that you see is these lands of demarcation that's establishing states is the legal fiction in operation on the land the, the the only way we can overthrow them is we have to go back to this old oral tradition of the tribes put everything out in the open for the rest of the tribesmen and the clans people to see and the more of us become aware then their system will automatically start to deteriorate it's scheduled to close march the first so I don't see any way for them to resurrect that dead entity this time because there's not enough of us contracting with them anymore because we become an aware. Once their system collapses, the tribal system, we have to go around the land having leadership summits and, and setting up new um, boundaries and removing all of the boundaries the settlers set. And this is how we get back to what's ours by following our system and stop following the system of the color of law, which they gave us under a uniform commercial code. And that's why they wear uniforms to look legitimate, even though they're illegitimate. When you learn more information, it allows you to do better than you were doing before. Right. So. Those people that they call the Native Americans, and they not they not from over here. But they they was they was giving them titles by the government that don't belong over here either. So you got two left feet trying to do a right foot dance. We getting tricked by the money. I like that. The money like has that. no intrinsic value in and of itself. It's only tied to contracts, and they allowed these these um casinos to be built in order to circulate enough notes to maintain the artificial currency and to artificially float the government the money is a fiat currency we not own it's not backed by anything it's, it should be packed by gross domestic product or gross national product but nothing backs the money the u.s dollar is not backed by anything you thinking that because they're giving these people a whole bunch of monopoly money that they're getting them currency that they're giving them real money real money is transferred in gold and silver if these people are not collecting gold and silver and they collected fiat currency they they not collecting money they artificially floating the fractional reserve banking system keeping them in power under the pretense of wealth but okay. the pretense is false Wrong. we got to get to the real money back to the gold standard back to the right. silver standard if right. we don't do that then they fiat worthless piece of paper becomes our destiny we don't want that shit fuck okay, that Ron, wipe my no, ass man. with it what do so I do? you need to contact the offices of uh, the diplomatic office in dc for sierra leone so you can fight for your reparations because the africans reclaiming their shit so if you one of them then you need to be fighting for your reparations like right along with them yeah well I didn't had a delegation at my family union from Sierra Leone. Over 30 people. Okay, came to I'm, I'm not union. arguing with that. I'm not disputing I, that. I'm just telling you I, I'm that if that. if if you're trying to get reparations, you need to contact the consulate for Sierra Leone so that you can have a political body to represent you in your negotiations for your reparations. That's all I'm saying. Well, what about my grandmother, Livia? That's a Cherokee. Because I understand Cherokees are getting reparations. Well, I have They're to ask you this question. Are you a matriarchal descendant or a patriarchal descendant? Meaning, do your ancestral I said um, grandmother. do your ancestral lineage pass down through your motherland or your fatherland? I said my grandmother. So then you can't fight for your Sierra Leone's reparation and fight for your grandmama too, because you're gonna have Why to choose. Why can't I fight for both? Because they both be are legitimate. Why they they I, both may be legitimate, but they only can pay out one claim. Why is that? I disagree with that. 
Well, for the delay, you got a right to disagree. And I can help try to get us to understand that our ancestors left us a structural system that if we remember our culture, we don't have to ask nobody for shit. We tell everybody where they belong on our land. They don't tell us where we belong. They don't ship us off to plantations and call them reserves. Them people have nothing to do with us in collectively. Those were people that was made native by presidential orders. That don't make them organic to the land. And and so as soon as y'all get that through y'all here, we gonna make progress at lightning speed. But the process is slow because we have to wake up a certain percentage of us to activate our mother line's matriarchal right to bring back in the great law at the close of the old age in the dawn of the new age. They told us everything and I've drug all of the secrets out in the open because I was asked to by a series of chiefs that preceded me. Now, this shit ain't no secret no more. It's the cognitive dissonance and rationalizing the information that's the problem. Right? So, we kn I know what I'm doing to help us, but don't nobody else have to know because it right. might be it's a possibility it's above their pay grade and their spiritual rank in order to know what I'm doing because this shit is complicated for me and I'm actually doing it. So mm -hmm. for somebody who hasn't don't have the same spiritual guidance to the same level, they might not. They might think I'm crazy for 20 years after they figure it out. Because I would have had to be crazy to see all this shit for what it is. Because uh, the only sane person in the insane world is the crazy motherfucker. And all this shit is insanity to me. So, um, <laughs> everybody got different perspectives of looking at stuff. I don't mind people disagreeing with me. We ain't supposed to all have the same opinion about everything all the time. Or else we'd just be some go along to get along, spineless ass people trying to figure out our way and getting our head busted every turn. So we got to be willing to accept the constructive criticism and the ones who don't understand, they're going to lag out because they don't really get it. 